The Day the Earth Hatched, Part 3. At the end of two weeks, he went with a group of 30 people to the outpost to relieve the group currently on duty there. As well as the main group, there were also two people that came along to lead the other group back to the city. When they finally got to the outpost, they noticed that the stick fence was finished and had been strengthened with mud, and the huts had slightly improved. They managed to succeed in bringing down a wild pig between them that evening with their hunting bows and a few spears, so they ate well. The next morning, they went out exploring in groups while some stayed at the camp. The large group that Rob was in climbed to the top of the large hill or small mountain behind the outpost, which took them almost an hour and then split in two, both going down the other side of the hill, but one group going diagonally left and the other group going diagonally right. Rob was in the group that went left. It took them about another hour to get down the hill, then they walked along a valley. After trekking along the valley for quite a while, they stopped at a fork in the valley and took a break while one of them roughly mapped their progress so far. Then they went up the right-hand valley. They had brought fur sleeping bags and a, f a few matches and their hunting bows with them, so they hunted and foraged for their dinner and spent that night in the valley. They got up early the next morning, and after a quick breakfast of fruit, they put out the fire, packed and continued up the valley. They had only been walking for about an hour when they heard a shout from their left. They looked up, but didn't see anyone, but they did see a large ledge in what could be a cave. They couldn't see any way up, but when Rob ran a little way ahead, he spotted a possible route. He called the rest of the group over, and they carefully made their way up to the ledge. When they got there, they were greeted enthusiastically by four people. The new group of four had been tramping when the earth hatched and had landed in this valley. Without knowing the way out of the hills and being too small a group to do any serious scouting, they had been stranded, although they had originally been living further up the valley and had only been living here for a week. When we set out for a tramp together, we didn't expect to be in the wilderness for a whole month, one of them said. So we are very glad to see you. By the way, do you have any idea what happened? Come with us back to our main camp, Rob said. We'll tell you when we get there. It took them another two days to get back to the outpost. Back at the outpost, they told the new group what happened. The earth hatched. And while they had quite a reaction to that, they did believe it, especially after remembering the experience. That was part three of The Day the Earth Hatched from the ebook Unfinished Worlds, available on the Kobo ebook store. Thank you for listening.